Wagwan people, we are back! Caribbean FC create our own club episode 36 and we've got a doozy for you. It's going to be a complete mixed bag of all sorts of games. Final games of the championship, we've got some FA Cup action and we've got some Europa League action. So I think we're going to fit about five or six games into this, take us right towards the end of the season. And we are nearly there. One more episode after this and then we'll be in the Premier League. So I'm doing interviews as always for the Europa League. And that's where we'll start our action, brothers. We're going to be placing Napoli. As you know, we had such a good first leg against Napoli. Surely we couldn't do anything wrong in this one. We went to Italy. Where we absolutely beasted and feasted in Italy. Don't know what's going on. Our team is a decent cup team, I must admit. We got to the FA Cup final last year. We're in the semi-finals this year. We're in the, what's this, the quarter-finals of the Europa League now. We're top of the championship. These Caribbean and African brothers have been doing some business. Next season, be tougher in the Premier League, but imagine if we won the Europa League. We would be in the Champions League next season with these brothers. So, you never know. And most of these teams as well now, because it's a good three or four seasons into it, a lot of the teams have changed. So, this is a very weak Napoli team compared to the Napoli team that plays at the moment. And we did the business over in Naples. We won 3-0, I do believe, over there, if I'm thinking rightly. But we still need to do the business here. So as you can see, 3-0 starting off. Uh, it was a cagey game. Again, we didn't have to put too much pressure on ourselves. But we did take the lead. Look at the pace as well from Lowe. Beautiful finish. That made it 4-0 on aggregate. And I'm thinking, that's surely it now. 20 minutes to go. We've got a foot in the next round of the Europa League. And my lord. I mean, it, it is just full of Italian teams, Europa League. It is unbelievable how many Italian teams are in it already. But we've absolutely destroyed Napoli over two legs. And the Carnival Park Stadium is something to rely on as well. Napoli, though, did give us a little bit of a scare, as you can see. Beautiful ball play through. Our defence all of a sudden just went to pot. Um, but with a four-goal lead, we were OK. Ball played across. Leach tried to block it, but Napoli did get one back 11 minutes ago to make it 4-1. But they needed another three goals. We needed an unbelievably crazy capitulation to lose this game. Uh, we did lose in that, the game on the night, though. Napoli did get a second goal, but only in injury time. But like I say, it wasn't enough to knock us out of the Europa League. So we'll press on with the Europa League. And again, it's good because all the players are developing even more now. I'm sure that was an offside there, but they'll take it. Felt sorry for Amos. He's had a good season so far. But defending in front of him was poor. But 2-1 on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. We booked our place in the next round of the Europa League. And celebrations at Carnival Park all around. Beautifully done. Some of these players have never been this far. Or even been in Europe before. And like I said, some of the Youth Academy players as well. It's looking good for our money. I think we've got enough to stay up next season in the Premier League uh, when we do go up. It's pretty much assured now. And we've got Roma in the semi-finals. Aston Villa and Inter Milan in the other semi-finals. So I'm glad we avoided uh, Villa and Inter, but Roma could be a tricky one. So after that, we then play Bournemouth. And basically, a draw or a win here made sure we were champions. We were already promoted. It made sure we were champions. Um, we haven't lifted a trophy yet, I do believe anyway, but pretty much we are 12 points clear with only 12 points available. And the only goal of the game <laughs> was this one. Look at this thing. But oh my gosh, blasted off the post, hit the keeper in the damn face. <laughs> what the bomber line is going on there, man? Look at this. So that helped us beat Bournemouth 1 0, the team that were in second place as well. And we won the league. So Caribbean FC. Are going up as champions to the Premier League. What an accomplishment for these boys. Winners of League 2, winners of League 1 and the Championship. As you can see, we've broke Reading's 100-point record as well. And their 100 and something goal record as well. We've smashed it. So after securing promotion to the Premier League, we then had Arsenal in the FA Cup. My goodness, the games came thick and fast. So again, we could get a place in the FA Cup final for the second season running. And this team is just built for cup action. Like I said, as long as I can keep it solid at the back, the pace we have with the Caribbean players and African players is just ridiculous. It's just pure pace everywhere. So we can hit teams on the counter-attack unbelievably and do our thing on there. So that was the lineup for the cup final. Bell, Hull, Leach in there as well. Arsenal team, uh, there's a few different changes, but quite a lot of the same old phase you can see there. You can see Ramsdale, El Nenny's still in there as well. It's the midfield that really impressed me. They've got two Shemeni in there now. Wan Basaka's made the move across from Old Trafford as well. Lacroix is in there. So that was FIFA 22's. Uh, he was the, uh, what do you call him? I don't know what you call him, but he was the cheat on that game. I mean, he was so quick on the game. Wan Basaka playing left back for some damn reason. Marquinhos has made his way through into the squad as well. Ossiman at front, Odegaard behind. But again, it, it's just built for us. This pitch as well, the size of the pitch, the pace that we've got. 
teams just can't handle us. We did ride our luck a few times, but we took the lead after 30 minutes. Beautiful play again from Ibrahim. And we know as well, this man as well, Billy Taylor, my lord, what a season he's had. Him and Ibrahim, take a boost, son. Ibrahim, we loaned to Hull last year, he went up by nine points in one season. I think he's gone up by like two for us, which is a bit liberties, but it is what it is. So 1-0 up in the second half, Arsenal then tried to attack us like crazy, tried to break us down. But look, like I say, if we can keep solid at the back... Everything's on the count. Arsenal shape was going to pot as well. And I don't surprise I'm so surprised Leach didn't get sent off here. <laughs> Literally the guy was cleaning. And Frederick Leach just took El Nenny to the cleaners. Look at this. Oh my <laughs> the African hitman, that's what it was. My goodness. So after that little scare there, I thought, you know what, we're down to ten men here. Again, Arsenal's look at the back four, they're pushing players forward, and we just wait for the pace and Gore was in. And Gory slid it across. Ibrahim made it 2-0. 25 minutes to go. We were, again, so close to another FA Cup final. And my lord, can you believe it? And we secured the win. So, again, nice little footwork again. Arsenal all over the place. And look, I'm saying, look at the pace. Ibrahim is just unbelievable. Taylor, Gory up front. Ball laid back across again. And look at the finish. Beautiful. 3-0. Arsenal are out of the FA Cup. We've made it to another FA Cup final. So even if we don't do well in the Europa League, we've got a chance of getting back in it next season in the FA Cup final. Look at that. The boys have been unbelievable this season. So there we have it. A 3-0 win over Arsenal. Can you believe it? Over Arsenal. My lordy. We've shown this season against teams like Arsenal, Chelsea in the Europa League, that we can do well in the Premier League next season. But we'll face Liverpool in the final, which is always a tough one. They play similar to us. Pen people in, can't attack them on the wings as well. So, always a difficult one. So, game's sticking fast. So, Napoli, Bournemouth, then Arsenal. We then headed to Rome. Uh, as you know, Roma and Napoli out license on the game. So, Roma have the most weirdest kit. Looks like some kind of a rugby school kit or something. But this is your Roma lineup. And again, that is built for us. They've got 25 people up front, three at the back. What the hell is this crap? But again, it's a weakened team. Lamar's in there, fair enough. Mele's in there. If we can hold them with the back four, the two hold midfielders, them four boys up front can do the counter-attacking business again. Like I said, we are built for this and teams are disrespecting us coming into the games thinking, ah yeah, it's only Caribbean FC from the championship. It makes no damn difference. So in Rome, again, we did our business. Russell, nice little move across. Billy Taylor, Ibrahim again. And like I said, that back three of Rome, I didn't know when to close down, when not to. Ball across again and Billy Taylor. My lord, he is now one goal away from the record in the Europa League. I think he's on 16 goals now. And the record is 17 or 15 or 16. One or two, but I do know he's one goal away from matching that record in the Europa League. So, 1-0 up. Again, just playing around Roma. Ah, giving the ball away though, unfortunately. And there was lots of pockets of space. Even our defence didn't really do great defending. But barge his way through Navarro. And he found the equaliser though in Rome. So we need to be tighter than that in the second leg if we're going to stand a chance of getting to this Europa League final. What is this Roma kit, FIFA? I mean, come on, I know you can't license some damn thing, but this is just dreadful, man. What the ras is this? Do something similar, man. My lordy. So 1-1. One, one. Again, look how quick we counter-attack. It is just counter-attack in heaven. I've done the tactic build-up. And what the hell Leach was doing up there, I don't know. Leach played it in. And Billy Taylor equalised and <laughs> equalised the record. What the ras was Leach doing up there, though? 2-1 in Rome. I mean, away goals don't count, but my lord, the performance does. This puts a pigeon. What the cat bunch of pigeons? What the fuck am I talking about? What am I talking about, honestly? So, 2-1 up. We tried to hold out as well. Tried to break free. And this would be an amazing result here in Rome. Take back to Carnival Park Stadium, which will have the second leg in this episode. Don't you worry, I got you today. And look at this again. This, the flowing football from one end to the other is beautiful. And our right back finished it off. I mean, we're talking total Brazilian football here. We're talking, I mean, the Brazil 1970-72 sort of team thing going on. 3-1 up in Rome. Yeah, I, I know. I can't believe myself. We are on great form. Inter Milan won 3 1 in their uh, first semi final. So it looks like it could be Inter Milan in the final if we get through. So we had a couple of championship games as well, just to sneak in. We had Ipswich uh, in the league, all kind of insignificant now. Now we've won the league as well, but it's a good chance for me to rotate the squad round. I'm trying to rotate as best I can so I can keep the players fit for the main games. Uh, but against Ipswich as well, it was business as usual. Nice closing down. Low was in. And again, low with their finish, low and hard. After 55 minutes, give us a 1-0 lead against it. Switch. I probably won't show all the games in between. I think we've got three or four games. Um, 
And we do have a game, I think, after the FA Cup final in the Championship. So it's kind of annoying. So that'll be in the next episode, the uh, FA Cup final. And we'll sneak in the last game of the season. Because hopefully, uh, unless I press the damn button, um, I haven't seen no trophy celebration yet for the, uh, the Championship trophy. So I want to see that kind of thing. Ipswich, though, uh, like I said, with our lackluster defender, did get back into it. And they found an equaliser after 75 minutes. So 1-1 one, one at Portman Road. But again, I ain't too fussed. The main action was two days later at home at Carnival Park Stadium against Roma. So 3-1 up from the first leg. Can we book our first ever European final, brothers? Again, going with a similar lineup from the first leg. Rotated it well round. We just need to hold Roma off. But like I said, the Carnival Park Stadium is... It, I don't know. It's just the atmosphere, the crowd, the fact that everyone's barbecuing. <laughs> everyone's doing their thing. It's just the atmosphere is unbelievable. And again, against Roma... We played beautifully well. We just played in between the channels. Once we broke that kind of front five, got to that back three of uh, Jose Mourinho's team, we were in there like swimwear. Beautiful ball in. Casey Palmer, after five minutes, gave us a 1-0 lead. And look at the Carnival Park Stadium. It's rocking. I might uh, increase the stadium again for the Premier League. I don't know. I'll have a look what the stadiums look like, but I want something pretty cool if we can. Uh, and after that, Roma were just trying to do the high press. And like I said, it, it just falls into our trap every time. It's a great thing. What the hell is that? Poor challenge there, man, referee. Come on, referee. But yeah, we can just soak up pressure if we can, defend as best as we can, and try and hit him on the counter-attack. But Roma did get one back. Made it 4-2 on aggregate. A little bit of squeaky bum time, I must admit. But I had faith in the boys that they could do their thing. And they like to say, look, break them down, compact the defence, break them down, try and find those outgoing passes. And again, the football is just beautiful. Look at that, playing around them. Beautifully done. Little one-twos here and there. And then once we get that pace going, look at the overlap. Look what I'm saying. Roma's defence was everywhere. Beautiful football. Inside to Ibrahim. Oh, my goodness. Nearly every player on the team, I think Barbell at left back, touched that ball in that movement. 2-1. My lord, this team is unbelievable. What a team. I think because we kept the same nucleus of players for so long as well, the cohesion is unreal. So 2-1 win at home. We went through 5-2 in aggregate, and we are going to a European final. I know none of us have passports. Let's get a books. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? We need to travel, though. And then to hear Brahim got man of the match in that game. Beautifully done. So we are in the Europa League final, uh, where we will face uh, Inter Milan. Aston Villa won in Italy, but lost 4-3 in aggregate. So we will play another Italian team, our third in the knockouts. So we've got an Europa League final to look forward to. So in the championship, last one game to go. We are 18 points clear, beasting and feasting as always. Um, the week of schedule will be Liverpool in the FA Cup next episode, Burnley, which I'll just show you the goal highlights, and then the Europa League final. So a two-match special, really, in the next episode. So one episode to go, two finals, an FA Cup final, and a Europa League final as well. I cannot wait. So we beat Liverpool. We're back in the Europa League at least. If we beat Inter Milan, we will be in the Champions League. That's if FIFA do follow the rules of the normal UEFA competitions. And that would be amazing. If we can do Champions League football and that first season in the Premier League. My lordy. Unbelievable. What a way it will be. And again, I'll try and sneak at least maybe one, maybe two more seasons of this before obviously the next FIFA comes out. Because we are in, uh, what are we in now? June now? God damn. So we're in June as well now. So um, things are pressing on. And again, I still don't know if I'm going to go maybe back to Pez and download like a latest update for the kits and stuff. Or, again, I'll see how this new EA Sports game is. But either way, I've got a lot of stuff to do in the summer, working out what squad's going to stay, who's going to stay, who's going to go back on loan, who we're going to sell. So do me a favour, brothers. Hit that like button for me. It really helps. Everyone seems to be enjoying this series as well. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, welcome to the channel. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you in the finals. Peace.